Hi boys and girls, my name is Mrs. Dooley and I am your art teacher this year. Now if you checked out the Meet Your Specialist video earlier, I might look a little different. I had my hair down, it was, it was curly, but for art, I like to use art supplies and it gets my fingers messy sometimes and I need my hair out of my face. So most of the time you're probably going to see me looking more like this, but you will always see my fun earrings because I love wearing fun earrings. It's just kind of part of who I am and I like to embrace it. Now, I have someone else I want you to meet. His name is Rainbow Bob. He is our art room mascot. Say hi, Rainbow Bob. Some of you might know Rainbow Bob because he was in our art room last year. So if you're not new to Claymont, then he's a familiar face alongside with me. Okay. Oh, oh. Oh, Rainbow Bob has something he wants to say. Come on. Rainbow Bob also just reminded me to welcome all of our new students to Claymont because he hasn't met some of you and neither have I. I know it's a little weird that we're behind our computer screens, but we're going to make the best of it and have a great start to the school year. I am going to read to you a story called the teach the art teacher from the Black Lagoon. It sounds like it's a little scary, but I promise it is not. It's a really fun story. And then after I read you the story, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what we're going to do this week in art. Okay, here we go. The Art Teacher from the Black Lagoon by Mike Thaler. Today, I have my first art class. The teacher's name is Crayola Swamp. The kids call her the Glitter Queen because she leaves a trail of sparkles wherever she goes. They say sometimes she makes her dresses out of egg cartons, her jewelry out of pipe cleaners, and her hats out of paper plates. She wears a long ponytail that she paints with, and she has a big weasel that she paints on. Her room is supposed to be a recycling dump. And her closets, forget it, they're still looking for a kid who opened one. They say she tells you to express yourself. I want to draw dinosaurs biting each other's heads off, but she makes you draw flowers, clouds, and other girl stuff. And they say you have to paint with your fingers. Gross! I'm wearing gloves! And then she makes you paint with your feet. Some kids will never have to wear socks again. You can really slop around because there's pigment and styrofoam everywhere. Some kids throw paint and have tempera tantrums. On Valentine's Day, you have to cut out hearts. That could get messy. Then there's the clay that gets really messy and squishy. She puts you on a wheel and spins you around until you're frizzy and dizzy. Then she sticks you in an oven and fires you. Can I get fired from school? They say that you come out of her class with a real glazed look. Then there's mobiles. Some kids are still hanging around her room. A kid named Art and a kid named Matt got framed and hung on the wall. They say she has pots full of glue, and some kids end up sticking to their projects for a long time. I heard you learn how to fold cookies into different shapes. It's called Oreo Gami. And then you have to learn about artists. There was a whole bunch of them, and they were all a little weird. One artist lay on his back for four years and painted a ceiling. He should have used a roller. It would have been much quicker. And there's another guy who cut off his ear and mailed it to Erie, Pennsylvania. Their paintings are weird too. This one guy named Dolly painted wacky watches. And a guy named Picasso painted melted Martians. But most of them just painted their own thumbs. My dad says people become artists because they can't get regular jobs. Well, it's time to go to art class. We march in. Wow, there's a big rainbow on the wall. It's awesome. Miss Swamp says we can use every color in it. I'm going to paint rainbow dinosaurs biting each other's heads off. I'm going to love art. Maybe I'll even be an artist someday. 
All right, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed that story. It was really fun. Did Miss Swamp really make her students paint with their feet? No, it was just a silly story that I hope you enjoyed. So I know we can't be in the art room right now, but hopefully we will be soon. In Miss Swamp's classroom, she had students create whatever they wanted on their first day of art using the colors from the rainbow, and I want you to do the same. Okay. Some of you might not have indigo, so at least try to use red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet, those six colors. Try to use those. If you have indigo also, which is, which is a color that looks kind of in between violet and blue, go ahead and use that too. Now, the character in the book created a drawing that included rainbow monsters. Maybe you're going to create a drawing that includes something like that too, or maybe you're going to draw a picture of something that you enjoy doing. Or maybe you're just going to create an energetic, swirly, curly design, and that is okay too. All right? Whatever you want to create is fine, and I cannot wait to see what you come up with. And remember to have fun.